Right, this um, diesel compression tester was 100 bucks, so um, pretty cheap from Super Cheap Auto. Goes up to 1,000 psi. Um, hoping to see, I'm not actually sure what the compression should read for all four cylinders on a WL. Uh, I'll have to um, have a hunt round later online and uh, find out the numbers. But what I'm really looking for though is just uh, um, the same sort of compression or a similar compression over all four cylinders. So hopefully we sort of see around. 400 and on all four if i see 400 400 and then like 320 and then like 250 well then we know she's getting tired and i'm just it's been plus teed for four years now and it's been raped probably going to be worthwhile just having a check seeing what's going on inside that motor whether I need to freshen it up give it some rings or I don't know so we'll pull the glow plugs out now and um, hook this up okay so I can do all this under the bonnet I've just put this wire straight to the starter motor and that also means I can have the key turned off so the motor's not going to fire up and start while I'm cranking it over to check the compression at least that's the theory We got there about 360, 360 on the first cylinder. So hopefully the rest of them are pretty much that. All right, set up in number two now. Right, that one's about 350, so about 10 psi lower on that cylinder, which is nothing to really worry about. Alright, cylinder number 3 now, we've got uh, 360 on one, 340 on the next, so hopefully this one's up at 360 again. About 320. <laughs> Fuck. Wow, oh, 3... Oh. 330? 329? 330? Alright, uh, I'm on cylinder number 4 now, um, I've been hoping for 360 all along, but fuck, it's probably more likely to be 290. Oh, 370? Shit. So, we've got 360 on number 1, 348 on number 2, 329 on number 3, and 370 on number 4. Um, I'll have to go home and have a Google and see what the factory compression should be and um, work out how much I've lost.
well, that's all she wrote for this one. So the compression is pretty good. I would say it's all within within reason. Um, we're about 40 psi down from the highest cylinder to the last cylinder. That could be just due to the way the valves are seating on that cylinder. Um, bit of ring wear because this motor does have a bit of blow by. Let's be honest. Um, it's been thrashed over the years. But if you've got any suggestions, throw them in the comment down below as to why you think my blow by, uh, compression ratio is so different. Um, let us know if you think it's alright too, because I would say it's sweet as. I mean, it's obviously still running sweet, still hooking third gear like a champ. So, those gear changes you've seen there, that long winded one especially, second into third roasting. So, no dramas. You'd be able to hook fourth if I had enough room and no traffic. So, that's where I'm going to leave it. So, if you're here to the channel for the first time, smash a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We'll see you on the next one. And that's when I'm going to be getting this bad boy out. So, own this truck. Five years, I know I'm going to get fucking blown up and mocked like fucking the comments down below when I make this video, but it is what it is. I haven't done a fuel filter on this vehicle since I've owned it. I've probably done about 200,000 Ks in it and it still hasn't had a diesel filter. So I'm going to do the diesel filter and I'm going to cut the one that's in the truck that's done 200,000 Ks. I'm going to cut it open and see what it looks like inside. I imagine it's got diesel bug in there, it's turned to sludge. Fuck, might not even be a filter inside it anymore. So see you there.